been long term. Uh, he spent a lot of time in the TAC unit. You know, that was a long term job for Tony. Uh, he spent a lot of time in the traffic unit. That was a long term job. You see people that throughout their careers will hop from spot to spot, you know, to try and find their niche. Uh, with Tony, uh, those long term stops meant a couple of things. First of all, uh, not only did he find his niche where he knew he could make the greatest contribution to the organization, but also uh, it shows his, his commitment to those units. You have succeeded. You have had a successful career. That pretty much epitomizes what Tony was all about. Very, very right. Right. So this is a, it's a bittersweet day uh, for the organization. Because uh, Tony uh, is one of those guys that, you know, there's another one in here, and I mentioned this, you know, not too long ago, that truly enjoy their job. Uh, Tony's plaque's a little different than some. He's got everything from uh, his cadet badge to his first police officer badge that he's polished so much it's now gold. Uh, senior police officer badge and now his, uh, uh, his police officer badge. Uh, Again, bittersweet day for the police department, Tony, but we can't thank you enough for your service, the things you did, not just, uh, not just internally, but for the people of this community. Anthony J. Gomez, October 16th, 1972, to March 31st, 2015, senior police officer, presented in recognition of meritorious service with the Des Moines Police Department. Tony, congratulations and best of luck. But the one thing he did admit to me one time when we were in the car was that he always wanted to be a state trooper. He said, he said, well, I, won't, I won't go through the, the whole package here, but uh, we got Tony a Remington hat. He likes to hunt, so I wanted to make sure he had orange on so he didn't kill himself. And it does have a junior trooper sticker on it. Uh, and then, of course, with any retiree, there's a nice coffee cup in there um, and some things that I'm sure you can use in your retirement. Thank you. Um, but more importantly, you know, Tony's been around a long time, and uh, you know, I had somebody once tell me that you don't have to have something on your collar to be a leader in the organization. And I know from the state patrol side, we always looked at Tony as being a real leader in the traffic unit, um, partially because I went through lieutenant so fast we couldn't keep track of him. So, Dave, sorry, I don't know how long you're going to be here. <laughs> But uh, anyway, on behalf of the Iowa State Patrol, I've got a plaque for Tony Gomez, and it says, uh, the above-named senior police officer with the Des Moines Police Department Traffic Unit is hereby recognized for outstanding service. Your leadership was integral and influential in developing a cooperative enforcement partnership between the Des Moines Police Department Traffic Unit and the Iowa State Patrol. Your professionalism and dedication to duty were instrumental to successful public safety outcomes, especially the Alive on I-235 special projects. Your relentless commitment to traffic safety has been sincerely appreciated. Dated this 31st day, March 2015, and signed by Colonel Harrison and myself, because I know you want to.